as I've said directly and publicly, this is not an era of war. But it is one of dialogue and diplomacy, and we all must do what we can to stop the bloodshed and human suffering. Mr. Speaker, the dark clouds of coercion and confrontation are casting their shadow in the Indo-Pacific. The stability of the region has become one of the central concerns of our partnership. We share a vision of a free, open, and inclusive Indo-Pacific. Connected by secure seas, defined by international law, free from domination and anchored in ASEAN centrality. A region where all nations, small and large, are free and fearless in their choices, where progress is not suffo suffocated, by an impossible burdens of debt. <laughs> Where connectivity is not leveraged for strategic purposes. Where all nations are lifted by the high tide of shared prosperity. <laughs> Our vision does not seek to contain or exclude but to build a cooperative region of peace and prosperity. We work through regional institutions and with our partners from within the region and beyond. Of this, coal has emerged as a major force of good for the region. Mr. Speaker, more than two decades after 9-11 and more than a decade after 26-11 in Mumbai, radicalism and terrorism still remain a pressing danger for the whole world. These ideologies keep taking new identity and forms, but their intentions are the same. Terrorism is an enemy of humanity, and there can be no ifs and buts in dealing with it. We must overcome all such forces sponsoring and exporting terror. <laughs> Mr. Speaker, COVID-19's biggest impact was the human loss and suffering it caused. I wish to remember Congressman Ron Wright and the staff members who lost their lives 
to COVID. As we emerge out of the pandemic, we must give shape to a new world order. Consideration, care, and concern are the need of the hour. Giving a voice to the global south is the way forward. That is why I firmly believe that the African Union be given full membership of G20. Okay. इंडिया टीवी हर वक्त हर जगह डाउनलोड करने के लिए सर्च करें इंडिया टीवी न्यूज गूगल प्ले स्टोर या एप स्टोर पर